Hi, this is Jackie of Vegan Yak Attack, and today I'm going to be making a loaf of pumpkin banana nut bread. This recipe is super easy to make and a great gift for friends and perfect for the holidays. So the equipment that you might need, we have a food processor right here. You can also use a blender, but it's going to be a little hard because the mixture is kind of thick. Then I have a big bowl for mixing all the ingredients, spatulas and a fork for stirring. And like I said, for gifts, this either makes four mini loaves or two of the bigger loaves. And measuring equipment will definitely be helpful. So ingredients that we're going to be using, we have whole wheat flour, chopped walnuts, some really ripe bananas. These kind of look disgusting, but a tip here is if you have browning bananas, just unpeel them, break them up into pieces, freeze them, and then bring them out whenever you need them so that that's why they're a little brown. They're sweeter than any ripe, ripe banana, and they're going to add a lot of moisture to the bread. I have turbonado sugar here. Um, it's important if you're vegan to check labels to say if it's specifically vegan or not, or just buy organic sugar. I have molasses here, ground flaxseed, because with the hot water we're going to make some flaxseed eggs. And then here I have pumpkin pie spice. This is a blend of spices like cinnamon, ginger, has lemon zest in it, and a few other things. If you can't buy it pre-made, there's recipes online for you to make this blend. And then here I have baking soda and salt, some coconut oil. And here's some organic pumpkin in a can. Usually I would just bake my own pumpkin, but to save time I bought this. Make sure it's not pumpkin pie filling because that'll have added sweeteners and spices to it. And then you can just check the ingredients to make sure this is just pumpkin. And here we have some vanilla and some extra coconut oil in case we need to line the pans with it. That's what I use for it. You can use non-baking or baking spray too. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So really, the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And then the next, we're going to get started on combining all these ingredients. So what we're going to do, I separated the ingredients. This is going to be the wet mixture. We have the dry over here. First thing to do, just pour the flaxseed, the ground flaxseed in the water to make the egg. And stir it a little bit. Let's do it with a fork. Get it going. You can just set it. And then we're going to work on the dry ingredients. So here I have the whole wheat flour, and you'll be able to find the measurements for everything on my site, veganyakattack.com. I'll have the link in the description below. So here's whole wheat flour. We have baking soda and salt, and then the pumpkin pie spice. We're going to save the walnuts until later. So what you can do, just toss it together, just stir it. Ideally you would sift it, but I mean really, in my mind, it doesn't matter a whole lot. So just combine all the ingredients evenly so we have it prepped for when we're ready with the wet mixture to add it in. Ooh, and already it smells so good. So I'll leave this off to the side. And then here, we're going to start with the banana. Put that in there. And then the molasses, which you might need to get in there like this. This is where those spatulas come in handy for sure. And then the pumpkin, we're just going to put the whole can of pumpkin in there. Make it easy on us. And if you didn't know already, a lot of different types of vegetables like squash and banana specifically or even applesauce are really great as either oil or egg substitutes in baking. You just have to make sure that you have the right proportions so that the recipe doesn't fail when you replace everything. Believe me, I've done it a few times. That's all the pumpkin. And now I'm just going to add in the sugar. Ooh, that's a lot. And then this oil. You don't have to melt the oil first. I just go ahead and put it in like this. And then next we're going to put in the vanilla. I feel like vanilla makes everything better. Okay. And stir this up a little bit more. It's getting a little gooey. I'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there. Alright, and I don't even pulse it. I just get loud for a little bit. Kind of 
check inside, scrape the walls, make sure you got everything. There's a little sugar on the sides. Alright, maybe just do it one more time. Alright, so this is nice and liquidy, you see. We're actually just going to pour this right in here. Get that last little bit there. Then you can either use like the fork that we were using earlier or the spatula. I do the fork and then the spatula. We're just stirring it together until it's well combined, which may take like a minute, a minute or two. All right, we are set with that, and now to add walnuts finally. Just make sure they're chopped kind of finely so they're all throughout the loaf. Just fold them in there. Hopefully you can see that. It already looks delicious. And at this point, you may even want to just taste a little bit of it. See if you want to add a little bit more sweetener or salt even. Tastes good to me. All right, and then now I'm going to get the pans prepped and we'll move on to that next. All right, I've coated the pans with just a very thin coating of coconut oil. And I just did it with my hand, spread it around, whatever. And the way I divided it through these four pans is I'll do a scoop of the batter in each one and go back and forth so that they're all even. Right now I'm just putting the last little scoop in this one. And then we'll just smooth out the top just a little bit and push it into the corners of the pan. All right. And I won't judge you if you lick the spoon. That's what I do. I don't see anything wrong with it. So just use this small spatula. We're just gonna kind of push it into the corners like that. There we go. And then just do that to all the pans. So now we're just gonna put them in the oven. And then for these small ones, 35 minutes was perfect for me. In the big one, you're probably gonna be around 50 minutes. You might wanna check it around, you know, even 45, just to make sure it's not overcooking. Use a toothpick, see if it draws clean, and then it's done. So we'll see how these turn out after they're done baking. So the bread is done baking. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out of the oven. I already tested it with toothpicks to make sure they drew clean. And then we're gonna just place them on the cooling rack for about 10 minutes, if you can wait that long. I just take a look. Look at how cute they are. They're so cute and they smell so good. Oh man, I can't wait to pop those out of there. So we'll see what they look like after. Alright, I've waited a little bit. They're still warm, but I seriously can't wait too long to like not cut them. So here, you see our little loaves out of the pan. They pop right out. That's what I love about not using a whole lot of oil and then just doing a little oil on the pan. It's like so easy to take out. I could go ahead and cut one and take a test bite. Oh, look at it. Walnuts in there. Oh, it smells so good. This would be perfect with coffee or tea even. Oh my gosh. It's so moist and delicious. There's so much spice. Really, I highly recommend you make this for the holidays, and if you decided to give them to anybody, they'd be very lucky to have them. So, like I said before, you can find the ingredients list online on my site, veganyakattack.com, and until next time, thanks for watching.